Hi guys, I missed you. I have less than one hour to get ready and drink my breakfast, drink my coffee, and head out. And I'm also filming this, so I think that the get ready with me part will have to be fast. So I might talk a bit through it. I'm gonna start my moisturizing. Okay, so I like to start off with the concealer. And then I like to take this Sephora bronzer, get a wet beauty blender, and I'm just gonna blend the bronzer out. For the eyes, I'm just gonna quickly take the bronzer and just like set my crease. Now that we're done with the eyebrows, I'm gonna do my mascara and then I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I'm really, really loving. Like for the past um, couple of months, I've been using it and it just really, really helps lift my eyes. And okay, now I'm gonna quickly do this in my inner corner to redden it out. And now I'm gonna go show you guys my little trick. I like to get a brush and then I go to do the black and I like to follow my eyelashes where that bottom lash stops. So the reason why I like to do this after mascara is because I like to follow the line where my eyelashes ends and that way it just looks way more elongated. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go outside to the balcony and eat my breakfast. I have some gluten-free corn cakes with um, homemade peanut butter, zero sugar, no added anything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drink my coffee outside on the balcony and just watch some YouTube videos. Okay guys, so let me remove this. So a quick change of plan, I don't have a table outside and I'm just too lazy to pick up this table put it outside um, and I don't want the plate to fall so I'm gonna eat right now, like eat and then finish drinking my coffee outside and I'm gonna check and tell you guys how many hours I fast. I'll put it over here. I usually fast for like 18 hours but I exceeded it with one hour like an hour ago so i probably fast for 20 hours now which is amazing it's so impressive um the first couple of days i just definitely did have um some headaches and stuff like that but right now i don't have any of that i only have the right to have two uh, meals a day and i cannot give up my breakfast so uh, yeah, i am gonna eat this i just wanted to mix this beauty with you guys so this is the most satisfying thing in the whole entire world i really want to talk to you guys about why i'm intermittent fasting and why i only have two meals a day and just like some updates but before we do that i want to give you guys a small little she in slash zara haul quickly do a small haul of what i got um i got this little top from zara it looks like this it's brown has long sleeves but it also has like this like cut at the neck which i think is gonna look really nice with like the shoulder out and all um and i got this in like size small so this is the first item and then i got this small little tiny top in pastel neon green also in size medium and if you're overweight like me and i don't know if you have these issues but like every trendy piece is like cropped and it just it's just really really hard to find nice pieces that looks good on you probably it just has to do with my self-esteem but i don't know i don't know i just really really struggle with like the cropped pieces but another cropped one is this shirt looks like this it's blue has long sleeves i just do it that and it just has this elastic at the bottom um i feel like this will look really good with like like all nice and open because it's 
clothes at the bottom and just have a really nice crop top a bra like look at something like nice and lacy down there i think it will look so good okay so i ordered uh, these things in the raw size so i ordered this dress like this dress i did order it in a small on expert so this dress i knew that i did order it in small but basically i wanted to order it in small and just like have it there as motivation so it looks like this it's nice and and it does have like this nice slit this one is in size small i'll put the side like the picture over here and then i also got a pair of mom boyfriend jeans i thought that i ordered this one in in a medium but i ordered it in small and when i was like trying it on and it didn't fit me i was like literally depressed but then i realized that it's small like a couple of weeks after ordering it it looks like this and it's just like flared at the bottom again i'll put the picture over here and if you guys want to ask the quality is actually so nice i'm really impressed so yeah i got this in a size small probably the universe want me to do that because i'm gonna be losing weight so it looks like this with like the color and stuff like that i really like this sort of stuff but the same issue with this one is it's really cropped and when i wear jeans with it it's just like my fat is all squeezed out and it just doesn't look nice so this one is also on size medium right yep it's a medium and it's not that see-through you could just like wear a white bra and move on you know it's not that see-through it won't be that big of a problem so but um yeah i got this one just like really nice and simple I hope that will st this one will still fit me after I lose weight. So um, yeah, it's just it's really nice quality to be honest. It's soft and yeah, I guess I don't have that much else to say. It has this like princessy um, thing over here. I really really like these ones. So uh, it's really lightweight. It the fabric i don't know if you guys can tell and i don't know how to explain it because i'm not a fashion student but yeah um it's definitely a bit see-through but it's gonna be fine um so i just got this really beautiful top it just has these like sleeves and this and i just feel like these sore tops will look so good with like baggy high-waisted mom jeans with like jewelries and your hair up and like sleek bun or ponytail with like chunky hoops it i think it really looks so good so yeah um i can't wait to lose weight i'm really like i'm 100 percent sure i cannot wear any of these and i have a shit ton of clothes in my closet that i cannot it's not like i could not wear i just don't feel comfortable wearing so yeah also guys my closet and my room are a mess and i really really need to clean it out but i might do that not tomorrow but on the weekend with you guys i really really want to vlog that so okay guys so now let's talk about what i'm doing uh intermittent fasting uh basically based on some uh symptoms that i've been having the past couple of years i'm thinking i think that i have bcosis but there is some tests that i should do while i'm on my period because my period is just um i would not say it's not regular because it does come every month around the same time i'd say but the thing is that my period is getting shorter and shorter so i used to have it for like six days and for the past two two years i would say or a year it's been going like down from six five to six days to um literally last time it was like two days or i would say day and a half and that is just so unnormal and with the weight gain like rapid weight gain that i've had which is like 10 pounds in less than two weeks and i also have like dark spots uh on my neck 
and like other areas that just definitely made me question if I have PCOS or not. And the thing is, I was like literally the same day I my period was over and it was like two days, days and a, a day and a half. I was literally watching um, Sammy Clark and I have no idea what PCOS is and she was like talking about it and was like and she was like I lost so much weight even though that weight loss is not uh, or weight gain is not one of my symptoms of PCOS and I was like I gained so much weight do I have PCOS? so um, I basically went and searched it and I just found out that I have a lot of like the symptoms and like literally when I was searching about it I've had like so many flashbacks of like things and symptoms that I've been having so yeah I really really love Sammy Clark and I've been binge watching her videos for a reason this is like kind of a sign this is what I'm taking it as but if I have PCOS or not I really should take care of my health if I have PCOS I'm not sure I'm not gonna jump to conclusion and be like I have PCOS no I don't probably I do I have no idea but she basically was try and eat two times a day get your energy from fat which brings me to my uh basically the time i've had keto which is the only time i was able to lose weight i do have trouble losing weight and yeah with those who does have pcos has trouble with their insulin and when you do keto your insulin spikes are just lower because you're not having carbs because your the carb give you a really high insulin spike if that makes any sense and also eating too many times a day give you you a high insulin spike so yeah uh, i'm trying to be active i'm not i'm not but i really want to start working out and stuff like that but so uh yeah i'm so currently i'm just trying intermittent fasting we'll see if it's gonna work for me or not so far i feel so good and as a person who did deal with binge eating disorder before i'm not gonna say that i completely am rid of it but uh, i definitely have those days of like am i starving myself and sometimes i'm like happy that i under eat it it's not like i count my calorie i do not but I feel like the last couple of days I've been looking at myself and be like I am afraid that I'm not eating enough like literally which this thing makes me feel so happy that I'm not thinking too much of like about binge eating and stuff like that and make sure that I'm you know giving myself good nutritious food last night I was going to like break my fast at like 10 and like order pizza but like I literally did I just wanted to eat it but I really didn't crave it I just wanted to eat like literally eat just to eat and I wasn't even hungry that time but um, the, <laughs> the the app that I ordered on kept on crashing literally I was like girl like don't try anymore the universe is telling you not to do it and I feel happy that I didn't do it because I didn't crave it you know i did not crave pizza you know so why order it when you don't crave it right okay guys so i it's 2 p.m right now so i have like around an hour to cook and eat so i'm gonna clean my lettuce spinach and cook okay guys so i did put my spinach is it lettuce i got it all that now i just have to cook my chicken put some dressing and that's it